wish that I had known more about the country that I was going to going to mm -hmm. um you know I was I was taking a class about the Gullah Geechee people in the sea islands of um, Georgia and South Carolina and how that relates to Sierra Leone um and I feel like I spent a lot of time focusing on the Gullah Geechee people in the U.S. So I wish I had just known a little bit more about the culture and everything, but it was still a really enlightening experience. I am not sure there's anything that I would change in the process, just because it's not something I really think that any of us knew how to prepare for. Um, I probably would have just made sure that the week that I was studying abroad, I had completely cleared my calendar because I still had other things going on during that time. The professor was just really like open and honest and she really encouraged us to try to experience the culture at home as much as we could. Um, so there was one day where we all met up and had like a socially distanced picnic with some food from Sierra Leone. Um, so that we can kind of understand that. And she also had us um, some spices sent so we could learn how to make gumbo and rice mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think I just would have really like realized how, I guess like intense in a good way that it would have been um, because it was like really long days and there were some times where I wasn't able to like go to all the sessions because I had stuff going on in the evenings or the afternoons. Um, but I think just like embracing it even more. I think so. Um, I just really enjoy learning about other cultures and talking to people. And everyone on the Sierra Leone trip was so, so sweet. And they really, you know, they wanted to encourage us to like actually come visit and they got us really interested. And so I think just expanding my horizons was like the most important thing for me. Um, and I was able to do that. And I was able to learn about a country that, you know, I wouldn't have been able to tell like, you anything about it before. Mm -hmm. And now after I'm like, wow, there's this rich history and not only that, but it connects back to my home state that I wouldn't even have, you know, ever realized. to cook food from the country that you're going to mm -hmm. um, because that's in my opinion that just makes it more fun because you can hear someone from that country talking about something I love food I think that it's something that brings everyone together and I think that no matter what like if you're vegan vegetarian you know whatever if you don't eat certain things or if you like certain things I feel like every country has something you can cook mm -hmm. so that would be my thing